Dynamic governance is used in companies of all sizes all over the world and is transforming businesses to be decentralized, empowering, resilient, effective, efficient, and adaptive. The power of creativity is enormous. And we are ignoring creativity, not in a technical way, but in a social way, always. Dynamic governance is also referred to as DSG, dynamic self-governance, and sociocracy. Endenburg Electronics, an electrical engineering company with 165 employees, was the living laboratory where engineering principles helped develop dynamic governance. We are working since 1970 with sociocracy. But one thing, sociocracy will never disappear at Endenburg Electronics. <laughs> never. Because it's the best system you can have. Also, my clients, they are convinced that this is the method they want because we, are, we have better motivated people. They know they, that we want to listen to them and, and that they are not an, a number or something. West Brabant Home Care in Rosendahl in the Netherlands has 2,000 employees and has been adopting DG for five years. You will be much stronger. It's much more fun and uh, you don't get burned out because you're not the only one who have a responsibility. Charlottesville Medical Research, CMR, in Charlottesville, Virginia, is a 14-employee organization that performs clinical studies. It helped solve a, a problem for me, which was I didn't want to be the sole decision maker anymore. So maybe your boss is feeling like that and you just don't know it. I'm in the clinical circle and it does make for um, a better meeting, a more workable meeting. You get in, you, you say what you have to say, and you can go back and be at your desk and get your job done. This is an effective way to organize and run a company. I, I've been in business for 30 years, and I haven't run across a better way. I don't care how much furniture you have or how, what fleet of planes you have or anything else, your staff is your greatest asset, and if you're not listening to them, you're doing the business a huge disservice. So. I'd say get DSG and, and read about sociocracy and just think about the changes that you can make in your own organization. There's lots of really subtle things, different aspects that, that uh, overall make for better leadership, um, more effective, more fun places to work. How many meetings do you have right now? I promise you, your meetings will be declined with 30, 50 percent. So, and if not, then we stop the process. That's the way our organizations were meant to be. That they're meant to serve people. They're meant to extend us and extend our humanity, not to, not to shrink it. Once you start to incorporate it into your company, into your organization, you will see the power that GSG can provide. This last um, general circle meeting we had just this week, I was um, usually I'm the only one putting forth agenda items, you know, bringing things like that up. This last one, I only had one agenda item. I think there were eight items on the agenda. I only contributed to one. So the rest of the staff brought items that they wanted to discuss. And they were policy items. They weren't operational. So now they get it. That's what you need to be successful in the market. Just try it and see what happens. And don't be afraid because you will get much more back than what you ever thought you would get back. Are we killing this earth? I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps not. But we can bring in our creativity and we can solve all kinds of problems. There's not a problem we cannot solve. Mm -hmm.